In this video, you will learn how to design, build, and edit attractive newsletters using the drag and drop email builder in MailerCloud. Let's see how it's done. Click on Create Campaign at the top right corner of your dashboard. Now add a campaign name, subject line, sender name, and a verified from ID and reply ID. After you complete these steps, you can move on to the designing part by clicking on the Choose Email Template button. Hereby, you can pick a pre-designed template from our template gallery, or you can use our drag and drop editor for creating templates from scratch, or just copy paste your HTML code or plain text in the copy and paste editor. Let's suppose you have chosen drag and drop editor. Here you can select any layout as per your choice. For instance, I'm choosing one column layout. Click on continue. Well, this is the sample layout. On the left side, you can see all the available blocks, such as structures, blocks, and templates. Similarly, general settings for content, typography, and buttons on the right-hand side. Let's check each of these design elements in detail. Section is the outermost region of your email template, which comprises structures and containers. To select a section, click on the outer region of your email template. After selecting a section, you can manage the section settings like section background, content background, you can upload an image as your section background by selecting it from your device, or retrieve it from an external source by pasting the URL link under the external sources. You can either apply padding as a whole, or manage it individually on the bottom and top ends by clicking the Advanced option. You can apply border width. Here you can also apply width as a whole, or manage it individually by clicking the Advanced option. So that's all about the section. The next design element is Structure. Structures are the skeleton of your template design, which contains several containers. For instance, here is the one column structure. You can manage the structure settings by selecting the appropriate option from the right side menu. You can add and manage column width or select an equalizer, which will assign equal widths to all the columns. You can apply an indent between the containers. Change the background colors or images as per your choice. Then you can apply the padding as a whole or manage it individually. To add a new structure, go to the Structures menu, hold your desired structure, and drop it into the template. You can undo or redo changes while updating your design. Well, that's all about structure. The next design element is the container. To select a container, click on the highlighted regions inside the structure. In these regions, you can add an image, text, or button, and customize it using the container settings on the right menu. Here we have eight blocks, which include image, text, button, divider, social media icons, spacer, menu, and HTML. Likewise, an image block allows you to add an image to your email template design. To use this block, you need to drag the image option from the blocks menu appearing on the left and drop it inside your design. Here, this is the image block in the layout. Here, I'm adding an image from the computer. You can customize the image settings by selecting appropriate options from the right side menu. Now move to the text block. It allows you to add text to your email template design. You can customize the text by selecting format, font, size, color, etc. You can also customize the text block by selecting the appropriate option from the right side menu based on your design requirement. To personalize this template, you can use our personalization tag. Go to the personalization option on the right hand side. Select the personalized text of your choice, like first name, city, country, or any other. This will automatically replace these tags with the relevant fields, as per the details mentioned by you for the targeted contact. The next block is buttons. Drag the button block and drop it to your template. You can assign any label or functionality to your buttons. Add links. Change the button style and other aspects with a click. Divider block allows you to separate two containers from one another. To add social media icons, you need to drag the social icon from the blocks menu and drop it on your email template. Once done with this, you can manage the icon style, size, color, alignment, padding, and customize it by adding new or removing icons. The next block is Spacer, which is an empty space that you can apply in between two containers. Menu block comprises all the list of items that you want to add to your email template. To manage the menu settings, you can make the necessary changes from the menu, appearing on the right hand. If you're an HTML expert and want to customize the template as per your thoughts, you can use the HTML editor. You can move, copy, or delete any block. To move a block, just drag the block and drop it wherever you want. To copy a block, click on the copy icon, then you will get the exact copy of that block. 
To delete a block, click on the delete icon. That's all about blocks. Apart from this, we help you design your email templates with a set of pre-built templates. You can select the pre-built templates from the template section. You can select from the pre-built designs like headers, banners, info modules, footer, signature, etc. For example, if you want to add a new footer template, then just drag and drop the appropriate footer design from the template section. By default, the footer will always include an unsubscribe link. You can change the unsubscribe content at any time. Once you're done with your design part, you can check the preview of your template on both desktop and mobile devices. You can save this as a template in your template gallery. For this, click on Save in Template and give a name, then click Save. Or you can download this template. Next, click Continue.